Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Oddworld, new and tasty. From where we last left off, we've, we've successfully escaped the stockyards and got past through the slogs. Now into the Monzaic Lines, which is the home of the Mudokans. Now let's see what awaits us. There's still bats right here. Hey, I know there's bits of names on it here. Oh, I like this with the falling rocks. <laughs> Now let me show you something funny, eh? Watch this. If you time that just right... Nope. Whoa! Not the timing I wanted! I'm just, I'm just, I'm just clinging on the edge and then I just got hit in the head. Whoa! Let's try again. I don't think this should be on you've been framed. <laughs> Look at that, that's a car I'm trying to get up and the rock just got me. I don't know why I find that so funny. Anyway, let's just continue on, shall we? <laughs> Still just waited. Well, the good thing is you have infinite lives, like in the original Caves Odyssey and Heart of Darkness. Eyes will mimic the passage. Oh, I remember this bit. You have to, you have to mimic the native Mudokans' whistlings. I think I remember one time I was, I was attempting to run past the Mudokans and he just like got me in one hit. <laughs> Look, I'll demonstrate that. Stop! Stay right there. Let me, so let me demonstrate that again. Stop! Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yep, once you've mimicked that right, he allows you to grant you passage. Yeah, that's why there's slicks around here again. I don't know why these slicks are around here. Oh, yeah. Because I already know that. Now you wouldn't believe what I've been up to recently. Well, recently I've been, I've been to Gromont for the North Yorkshire Moors Railway Steam Gala. It was in the autumn where I saw some cool, some unique engines there, like one I've not seen before. I saw a wither slack hole when we were approaching Gromont. Although I didn't get to see it up close, really, but I thought next time. Oh, you know, wither slack hole can be found on the Great Central Railway in Leicestershire. I figured if, I'm, if I might get a chance to go there one day, but see if I might get a chance to see wither slack hole up close. And, also, and I've also seen King Edward II again. The first time I've seen it was basically when we rode on it in, in Devon. And also I saw Union of South Africa for the first time at the NYMR. And not to mention I've seen her owner, John Cameron, in person. And also I've been on the footplate of Union of South Africa. And the reason I did that is because, well, number nine's retirement is fast approaching. Still, I should have done that play experience of number nine uh, five or six years ago during the great gatherings with the 6A4s. Now all that reminds me, I haven't told you about the, about the downfall of Thomas Cook yet, but I'll, once again I'll save that for the next video. But anyway, let's get these slicks out of the way. Try that again. Don't you find a comical for slicks hitting their heads on the walls? <laughs> okay, let me get into the walls. Yeah, that's enough of that. 
I already know that since I've played the original apes obviously millions of times. Hey, this is an easy level to get past through. And there's nobody around to catch you. Oh yeah, you're hearing some there's these Madokans over there meditating. I'm not quite knowing the original apes, they were like chant do the same chant doing the same chanting as like what Abe the Abe does when he's chanting. You, 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 Again. Okay. Yep, he's doing the same thing, meditating. Let's see ya. Levers work well. What kind of pun is that? Oh, him again. Okay, you can go. It's like trying to get past the security guard You're during your main event. All the new game has got to come out. That never worked with Ben Tennyson in the original Ben Ten when they would when they were about to stay in that hotel in New York City. Only for them to be kicked out after that one. I think I already mentioned that in my Let's Play of Doom 3 the last mission. Um. What? I think I hear the Dokken saying, Halt. Um. Nope, it's just them meditating. Natives were aware of a factory born face, but Abe is... Oh, I couldn't... I can't read it. This is... Oh, I already know this. Look yeah, these holder figures from one place to another. Even to the teleporters as you may remember in the Dune games. This is fine. Bell song. Then... Chance. Near. Bells. Oof. Oh, great bees! This is what we need bees! Well, at least they're not the bees in Crash Bandicoot 2. Look at him here. He's lucky he's not Nicolas Cage. Where he'd be like, oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> well, are you having trouble with the bees? Anyway, let's try that again. So, what happened there? Oh yeah. I think I'm at, I know in the original Apes Odyssey where if you got stung multiple times by the bees, you end up being killed. It's kind of similar to people I remember with the Africanized killer bees, which has never been. That's one species, one bee species I've never encountered. I feel like I've encountered like honeybees and bumblebees. You know, all the times I've known stinging insects, I've never encountered an African killer bees. I, like I already mentioned, I've already encountered honey honeybees and bumblebees. And also other stinging insects like wasps. Ugh. 
That nuisance of wasps. I mean, I do tend to sting you for no reason. I mean, well, bees do have a purpose, which is to collect poll pollen to make honey. And hornets, well, they like wasps. But hornets are like wasps, but only bigger. Hey, I see a native Mudokin over there in the distance. What's the map going on here, don't you think? Oh, a flintlock. Our temples have grown dark since the Magog since the Magog cartel enslaved the Mudokans. Oh, I was meant to tell you about the Magog cartel. Well, basically, if you don't know what that is, well, the Magog cartel is actually like an association of... of... You know, an association of industrial factories around Oddworld. It owns all of them, like for example, Rupture Farms and Soulstone Brewery. And they also own like the Slick Barracks and Boneworks and Macog Motors, you know, from Munch's Odyssey. And then they also own Fico Depot, which is now known as Comet Depot in the upcoming Oddworld Soulstorm. Now, I wonder what Soulstorm will look like when it comes out. It'll probably be like this new, you know, new and tasty, but Oh, I have seen some gameplay footage of New and Tasty, like for example. There's one, there's only the gameplay footage of when you're in the Comet Depot, where I remember there's one bit of gameplay I know where they were trying, but Abe and his followers were trying to, trying to avoid the trains. And there's one bit where Abe was timing his jumping wrong, and his followers ended up getting crushed by the tra by the Comet Depot trains. And they're like based off, they're actually based off the FICO trains from Abe's Exodus. So you may remember. Well, Soul's Dawn is what Lauren Langley wanted Abe's Exodus to be. Because, well, Abe's Exodus was actually done in nine months. And it was, according to Lanning, he says that Abe's Exodus was, was supposed to be the second game in the Art World Quintology. But they had to develop it for their publisher, GT Interactive, in about nine months. And it was like half a heart, but twice the game. Are you wondering what this does, eh? Well, if you remember Abe's Odyssey, you'll know what this is. Yep, it puts the flames back on. And also, you know that logo that we saw on Moloch's neck? Well, that's the that's the logo from the Magog Cartel, which actually represents like a squid of some kind. And also, if you remember, I remember rightly, I watched a video from YouTube called The Secrets of the Magog Cartel, where if you go into YouTube and type that in, you'll... See that a guy Penny, I think he's called. But he says that uh, during the end, that, well, during the ending of Old World Stranger's Wrath, the villain Sector was revealed to be like a parasitic squid creature known as Noctigi, who he was actually revealed to be taken taken hold of the old Steve, who's like Stranger's species. And as Sector was swimming away during the ending, he he was like representing. He found like what was. Found what was what we saw in the logo. Don't know if it was meant to be like squid or some kind. There you go. Oh, there's the other bit that's, that's going to come into play later. Wait a minute. Before I go any further, let's just see. Bother reading all of them anyway. Uh, there's two ways we can, two passageways we can take here, like you know from Abe's Odyssey. We've got Paramonia and Scrabania. I remember when I first got Abe's Odyssey, I always tend to do Scrabania first. Oh, there's a sentry orb right here, and some mines. Not to mention the Silix over there, but unfortunately we can't pass them yet. We'll just let the slick sleep on, sleep on the jobs. Anyway, what? Which way should we take first, Palamonia or Scribania? Hmm. 
think we'll do Paramonia first, don't you? We'll save Scribania for last. I saw Paramodia, ancient and wild. Where Paramites lived before I was a child. It's a trap! But we rounded them up, ignored their cries. Alright, we got to maybe we get to take off early. We cut them all up for paramite pies. I think we should report them to like for animal cruelty, don't you think? It's like, it's almost like said. I think that's why Rupture Farms made them to power my ties. And still, it's like sending a. It's almost, sending, it's almost like sending piglets for slaughter! Anyway, this is where I'm gonna have to cut off right here. But we will, don't worry about this. We'll continue on with this next time in the wilderness. And so until then, bye!